Had our deckhand, Bob Matlin, had a crown. So I, I made him a big triple decker sandwich, cucumber and whatever and whatever. And he eats the sandwich for lunch. While, while we're trolling, you never shut down or anything. You just kept going. And um, he finds out he swallowed his crown. So uh, I was kind of the joker in our group. We had a group of fishermen, tw a dozen guys, boats, so he knew what was going on. So anyway, I go on the radio and, I, and I'm telling our group that Bob has swallowed his crown and we'd phone his dentist from Port Alberni had, in the last year, set up a business in Port Hardy. So he had phoned him and he said, well, look, you're going to have to go through your stools in a bucket or something until you find a crown and then come up to Port Hardy and we'll, I'll put it in for you. So I, I would, the first day, Dorothy comes in the wheelhouse and says, oh, Bob feels like he's got to go to the can. So, so, uh, so I go on the radio and I said, well, here's a first announcement on Bob's crown. Um, he's up on the hatch and he's stooped over the bucket and Dorothy's at the back watching this. And, 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 and then I said, oh, it looks like, I think she's found it. Oh no, it's a kernel of corn. <laughs> and so we, we went on this and on the third day, Bob did find his, himself. It was just a joke, but each day for three days, I'd give him a, a lowdown on what was happening there. But he finally got his crown back and put in. So.